Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are going to look at um, make pi from list one, and this is a Python solution. All right, this is a pretty straightforward problem, but we're going to do it two ways just to kind of highlight um, the power of lists. Now, if you've been following along, you've heard me talk about how a list and an array is different, and here is a perfect opportunity to talk about that. Um, even though in this solution, even the problem they talk about an array, this is a list. A list is what's called the dynamic data structure. What that means, wrong language, <laughs> dynamic data structure, what that means is the size doesn't have to be set when first constructed. So in other words, I can make a list and add as many things as I want to it. Whereas an array is you have to set the size in advance of using it. And if you're really interested to learn a little bit more about this, uh, take a look at the Java solution because I'll, I'll tie these two together. All right, so essentially what this problem is asking us to do is to return a list. And there's only one test case. We just have to return a list with three elements and we have index 0, 3, index 1, 1, and index 2, 4. Now, the first way to do that is to simply say list equals, and I can actually type it in, 3, 1, 4, and then I can return list. Then I hit go. No problem. Now, the other way to do this is what we can do is we can start off by making an empty list. And that's how you do that in Python. So now I have an empty list. I have nothing in it. And if I return it, obviously I'll get this wrong because our list is now empty. But what I can do is I can use this instance function called append. And what append does is it will actually append a value to the end of the list. So I'm going to list.append3, list.append1, and list.append. Four. And what happens now is it works perfectly correctly. So again, what is the takeaway here? The takeaway is that when you're working with lists in Python, you can either build the list right at, at initialization and put it in there, or you can use this append function to add elements to it. And again, if you're following along with both Java and Python, even though in CodyBat they refer to this one in the question as an array, that's not really correct. It's actually a list. An array is a static data structure, meaning the size is set when you first construct it, whereas a list is a dynamic data structure, meaning that the size can change. And like I said, whether you're a programmer or not in Java, take a look at the Java solution for this problem, and you'll see as I expand on this a little more. I hope this helped. Have a great day.